नमस्कार कंटिन्यूइंग विद आर वीडियो सीरीज ऑन द रिफ्रेशर ट्रेनिंग मैनुअल फॉर द मिनिस्टीरियल स्टाफ फॉर द स्टेट ऑफ पंजाब हरियाणा एंड यूटी चंडीगढ़ टूडे वी शैल बी लुकिंग इन टू चैप्टर थर्टीन पार्ट वन ऑफ द सेट ट्रेनिंग मैनुअल विच स्पीक्स विद रिगार्ड टू प्रोसेस सर्विंग एस्टेब्लिशमेंट एंड ड्यूटीज ऑफ नाइब नाजिर तमिल process serving establishment constitutes very important wing of district courts this agency is responsible for effecting service of parties and witnesses effective execution of processes notices summons warrants etc and distribution of work among process servers is main task of naib nazir tamil volume 4 chapter 6a rule 3 says that the civil judge senior division has control over and is responsible for the efficiency of the process serving establishment of the district volume 4 chapter 6a rule 4 speaks that the civil nazir is to be regarded as a ministerial head of the process serving establishment under the control of this civil judge senior division volume 1 chapter 5c Rule four says that the process servers shall be employed mainly in the work of serving and executing processes, but they may be required to perform any other public duties that may be assigned to them, being class four employees. Process servers should make reports on the processes in the prescribed form. Volume four, chapter five b, rule two says that in every case at the time of institution, process fee, that is rupees fifty for the service of processes, shall be levied in each court. This fee will not include the charges for registered cover. In appropriate case, the court may also ask for additional fee to the extent of rupees twenty five for any miscellaneous application filed during the pendency of the proceedings. procedure when processes and money are delivered to process servers volume 2 chapter 8d section 4 rule 20 21 each process should be entered in the register of processes received and disposed of payment to process server diet money etc should be entered in the appropriate column of the register of receipts against each sum payment entry should be made in the register of disbursement and the process server's acknowledgement of receipt in column 11 details of each sum should be entered in the process servers notebook no process server should have more than 200 rupees in hand at any one time no additional process fee shall be charged for extra visits for service of same process when a process server pays diet money to a witness he shall take his receipt in column 8 of his notebook as well as on the back of the original copy of the processes on which service is endorsed verified by one or more respectable witnesses with date and signature of process server particulars to be recorded on every process volume 4 chapter 5 a rule 7 the name of the process server deputed to serve or execute the same the period within which the process servers is required to certify service or execution the amount of fee paid and the date of payment the date of return after service or execution such endorsement shall be signed by the civil nazir or naib nazir or bailiff notwithstanding the separation of the revenue from the civil courts revenue courts shall send the processes issued by them for which process fee is charged to the civil process serving agency for service and execution the process fee shall be levied in accordance with the rules framed by the high court under section 21 and 2 of the court fees act 1870 as contained in chapter 5a of the high court rules and orders volume 4 procedure when processes are returned served by the process server volume 2 chapter 8d rule 22 If the service is effected and the money collected there with paid to the pay the naib nazir tamil shall verify the service service would be verified with the acknowledgement of the pay given in column 8 of the process servers notebook as well as on the back of the original copy of the process the original copy would be submitted to the court concerned with the usual certificate of service column 12 and 13 of the register of the process received and disposed will also be filled up by naib nazir procedure when processes are returned unserved volume 2 chapter 8d rule 23 in the case of non service the undisbursed amount returned by the process server shall again be entered against a new number in the register of receipts a new number in the register of receipts should be given against the original entry in that register and noted in column number 
of the process service notebook column number 11 of notebook should also be signed by the naib nazir in acknowledgement of receipt of the money back from the process server the process will then be returned to the court concerned with the certificate of non service after filling up column 12 and 13 of register of processes received and disposed of by the local agent checking of process service notebooks volume 2 chapter 8d section 4 rule 23 in the case of the agencies of the civil judge, senior division and the small cause court, we check monthly by the clerks of the courts. All these notebooks shall be also checked quarterly by the officer in charge, that is civil judge, senior division or additional civil judge, senior division. The results of these checks should be recorded in the following form, month of dash, certified that I have personally checked the accounts for the quarter ending and I'm satisfied that they are correct and in order except as follows, dash. Transmission of processes money between agencies, volume 2, chapter 8, D, rule 24 to 28. Processes issued by a court for service on a person residing within the limits of another tehsil in, another, in the district will be made over to the Naib Nazir at the place where the court issuing the process sits. The Naib Nazir will transmit the process by post or by messenger to the concerned Naib Nazir of the Tehsil within which the service is to be effected after making the necessary entries and register in the register of processes. Amount will be sent over by money order. Process shall be returned to Naib Nazir who sent them. Money order commission shall be paid by the party. Money order shall be addressed to the officer in charge. In case of non-service, money order amount will be returned to the officer in charge of the agency from where it was sent. Processes received from other tehsil should be entered in register form number six. Duty of officer in charge to see that the money received is brought on the on to re receipt register. The agent to whom a process is sent for service will invariably return the same. The certificate of service or non-service as the case may be duly endorsed thereon and signed by the officer in charge. When a summons is sent by a court in one district for service through a court in another district, Volume 1, Chapter 5B, Part C, together with Volume 2, Chapter 8, Rule 17, Rule 18. The expenses must be remitted by money order at the cost of the party taking out the summons. No postage stamps are to be sent instead of money order. The same procedure will apply when a summons issued by one court in a district has to be served through the process serving agency of another court within the same district. Processes issued by a court for service in another district will be made over to the Naib Nazir Tamil by the issuing court for entry in the register in form number six and transmitted to the civil judge senior division of the district in which the person to be served resides. The amount deposited with the Naib Nazir Tamil will be transmitted by him by postal money order to the civil judge senior division of the district in which service is to be effected. The cost of the postal money order shall be borne by the party at whose instance the process is issued. The civil judge senior division of such other district shall, in the event of the process not being served, return the amount by postal money order, less cost of commission on such order, Processes received for service from other districts to be entered in register form number six. Duties of Nazir, volume four, chapter two B. Rule one says that check the register of receipts and repayments of deposits and note whether there are any deposits of long standing date. Rule two says examine register number 23 processes served by each process server and note whether the distribution of work is fair. Rule three says examine where, whether there are many complaints against any of the establishment on account of inefficiency due to age or any other cause. Rule four says see whether the staff is sufficient or in excess of requirements. Rule five says examine miscellaneous register C, miscellaneous proceedings received from other districts and courts and ascertain from the entries in column number three, six, eight and nine, whether unnecessary delay occurs in the disposal of offenses. Rule six says examine miscellaneous register F, property received into the Nazir store room carefully and check the correctness of the entries in column four by an examination of at least 12 bundles taken at random. Examine whether the arrangements of the Malkhana are satisfactory as regards the preservation of the property stored therein. 
briefly summed up summons are received by the naib nazir from honorable supreme court honorable high court other sessions divisions sessions court lower courts after making entry of summons the same are assigned to process servers deputed in the area the summons are returned by the process server before the date fixed either served or unserved with report as per rule 36 entry of summons in the relevant register and sending to the concerned court or sessions division or honorable high court outstation summons are sent either through fax or speed post handing over summons of district courts to concerned ahmeds maintaining sheriff petty registers for making entry regarding payment to witnesses register a is regarding expenses of witnesses are deposited register b is regarding payment made to witnesses as per voucher is entered register c is balance worked out from a and b is entered if the daily amount exceeds rupees 20000 to be is to be deposited in treasury total amount to be deposited in treasury at the end of the month register d is maintained separately for district court and high court in which summons from prospective courts are entered and delivered to process servers according to their halkas allotted to them by the naib nazar each summon is date bound to return within a week the number of d register and the name and date of the process servers is marked on the process after the process is completed the process server returns the same to the naib nazir tamil who after his satisfaction makes his report on summons and gets it attested from the civil nazir the process is returned to the respective courts and affidavit is given on the served or refused summons by the process server monthly statement is prepared by the naib nazir tamil on which the work done by the process server and the bailiffs of the court is indicated the proper uniform of ps and bailiffs is checked by the naib nazir volume 4 chapter 2 part b and volume 4 chapter 6 part a says urgent and short date summons are emailed immediately volume 4 chapter 24 gives out the important register we have three columns number of register name of register and official by whom it shall be kept for example civil register number 20 is the register of process servers to be kept by nazir civil register 22 is the register of warrants executed by bailiffs to be kept by civil nazir civil register number 23 register of process server is processes served by process servers is to be kept by naib nazir civil register 29 is a day diary register for process servers and bailiff is to be kept by the process server or the bailiff notebooks volume 2 chapter 8 e says about the notebook of bailiffs to be maintained by the bailiffs volume 2 chapter 8d speaks with regard to the notebook of process servers to be maintained by process server now with this our part 1 of refresher training manual for the ministerial staff comes to an end in our next video we shall be looking into the part 2 of the refresher training manual till then namaskar